So, hi. Um, one of the big things for 2016 is obviously FPV racing. It's um, a hobby that's really taken off in the last few months and um, more and more people are starting to get into it. One of the problems that you can have uh, when you find something this kind of small size like this Sky Hero Anakin or similar type quadcopter is that when you're flying it around and you're flying with the FPV gobbles you can very quickly uh, lose sight or even control of it and it can crash into a field or a tree somewhere uh, where you have problems finding it. And one of the things that I've looked at doing is putting on a buzzer, um, a buzzer alarm, so that in the event that I lose it in a field somewhere or in a tree, I can trigger the alarm and quickly, hopefully, locate the, the quadcopter to get it back. So. Um, one of the challenges in the past has been that some of these little buzzers have not been compatible or there's been difficulties getting them to work with an SBUS type setup. But in this case I've got my uh, Futaba R6303 SB, which is an SBUS uh, receiver, configured with the CC3D flight controller over SBUS and I've successfully managed to get this little um, Hobby King Discovery buzzer working. So there's a couple of buzzers on the market that I found that work for me. One is this one, the Hobby King one. Um, there's also uh, another buzzer by Taro, T-A-R-O-T, -T, the TL3005, which also seems to work okay. Uh, in this case, um, this buzzer weighs in at about um, four to five grams. Um, but you can shave some of the weight off with that by reducing the lead as I've done here. The lead that comes with it is about 20 centimetres long. So what you get um, in the package when you order this from uh, Hobby King is uh, a very small leaflet, I could say, which basically gives you some specs about the um, the little alarm which is 5 grams in weight and its size is 15 millimeter square and it's got a 20 centimeter um, cable on it, Futarts type cable. So I, as I said, I um, basically for my model here I cut down the size of the length of that cable just to uh, make it a bit more convenient on space and what you have to do on the Futaba receiver is make sure uh, in this case with this particular receiver that I configured ports 1 and 2 as channels 11 and 12. Now to do that what you do is you um, power up the uh, receiver without your transmitter switched on and when you get this solid red light on your uh, receiver what you need to do is um, press and hold it the, the link button, sorry, press and hold the link button for about five seconds until the light starts flashing uh, in a sort of red and green colour together. So you'll see in a moment it goes like red and green. Right now it's in channel configuration mode, and um, basically I've got that set uh, already where it's flashing a kind of combined red and green. And so when I press and hold for about two seconds on that particular configuration that will save it. Yeah, it flashes, flashes very quickly and then it goes back to red. So now I've got my ports 1 and 2 configured as channels 11 and 12. So I just connect the receiver in there, signal wire to the edge of the, the, the receiver and the uh, negative in the center and that's done for the actual uh, receiver configuration side. The next step is to get my Futaba um, 14SG radio. Uh, I'll switch that on here. Go into the model that I've got uh, selected. And then I double press on the link button and I go down to this uh, function option. And on there I'm going to go and check that uh, I've assigned a control to channel 12 which is where I've got the alarm connected. In this case I've got channel RD selected which is this uh, control on the right here. Come out of that option and then I go to uh, fail safe and if I again go to channel 12 and you'll see here that I've got uh, fail, set, fail safe uh, enabled on the channel 12. The next one uh, is switched off and then here, over here I've got plus 23% now. That plus 23% is obtained by rotating the um, RD control 
until the point that the buzzer sounds and then pressing and holding the RTN button until it registers the value and then coming out of that option. The other thing that I've done is just to go into my endpoints and on channel 12 I have set endpoints of 120, 72, 72 and 120 which seems to work in my particular setup. So what that means now is if I come out of that and I bring back the um, the Anakin I've got the transmitter on at the moment uh, and I connect the power so as you can see the, the beep is quite loud and if I turn my RD button on here Just when I get past the midpoint, you'll see that that alarm starts to sound. If I turn it back to the right, it will stop. And then if I switch off my transmitter, you'll see that the alarm also sounds as well. And once I've got the uh, rager back on, you'll see it will stop again. So that's a quick uh, and easy way to set up an alarm on your uh, quadcopter uh, in case you lose it in uh, long grass or in a tree. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, please subscribe. Thank you.